When searching for storage containers, we usually head for cardboard boxes, but in a museum, that's not the best idea. Welcome, I'm Tamara Hemmerlein. And I'm Karen DePau, and we're with Local History Services at the Indiana Historical Society. Today we're going to be talking about safe storage for the short, mid, and long terms. When you're choosing storage solutions, it's really important to know the time you're going to be storing something, because that can make a big difference in what you choose. Short term. Do I have to use expensive storage materials for the short term? Not necessarily. If you're storing things for one year or less, you can get away with some much more affordable supplies. I can just use cardboard boxes. If they're clean and sturdy. Cardboard boxes can be great for very short-term use for moving things if you just quickly need to box some things up and move them around the museum. You can also use bubble wrap. Again, this is only for the short term because both of these things, if left intact with collections for a long time, can stain and cause irreparable damage. Is it okay to use other things like drawers and wooden furniture? You can certainly use wooden furniture as storage. The thing to think about is there's two different sides of that. One is making sure that you're using it only for the short term because that wood can potentially stain items that are stored within it. But the other piece is, if that wooden furniture is also a collections piece, you want to make sure that what you're putting in that drawer or on that shelf is not going to break that piece. Because we're talking about both pieces needing protection, sometimes from each other. Midterm. The materials you'll use for midterm storage, one to 10 years, are a little bit different, but still you can get away with some slightly more affordable supplies. So for instance, you can actually use clear Sterilite brand tubs or clear Ziploc brand bags. Both of these brand names use fairly inert plastic, so they won't get that sticky film that you can sometimes feel. Also by using the clear, you can keep an eye out for any moisture or any pests that might have decided to make a home. Do I just put the objects in there? The best thing to do is actually to create some barriers and some buffers. You could use something like 100% unbleached cotton muslin. This works great to kind of wrap around things instead of the bubble wrap we talked about before. You can also use white new pool noodles. Those are also made of a fairly inert plastic. And then finally, we talked a little bit in short-term storage about the use of wooden furniture. So if you've determined that that wooden furniture is stable enough to use for midterm storage, you can use aluminum foil to line the bottom of the drawers, any place where the wood is exposed and would touch the items, and that's gonna create a buffer from that acid that might harm the objects that are being stored in it. I see a lot of things that say they're acid-free. Is that safe to use? Acid-free labeled things at big box stores are okay, but sometimes we can't know the quality, so keep those to that midterm storage. Long-term. So for long-term storage, we're talking about storing things for 10 plus years. We want to look for museum quality, acid-free, lignin-free materials. Additionally, you can switch out all of those buffers we talked about. So instead of using pool noodles, you would use ethafoam. Instead of using 100% cotton muslin, you could transfer over to acid-free, lignin-free tissue papers. All of those things are going to add that buffer that you want, but in a much more stable manner. Are there any other tips you have for long-term storage? Look for powder-coated shelving. So when metal is powder-coated, it means that it's protecting the metal, which also then means that it's protecting the item sitting on it. So to wrap up, cardboard boxes are okay for the short-term. Sterilite tubs are okay for mid-term storage. And then when we're moving to long-term storage, we want to look at museum-quality, acid-free, lignin-free items. Correct. Thanks for joining us, everyone.